Hello, so welcome back to the vicarage. And often as a vicar, I am blessed with lots of presents. But as you can see here, I end up receiving quite a number of orchids. And so as to this week is focused on the kitchen, you may have noticed that the orchids sit in the kitchen on the windowsill. I thought I'd spend some time doing some orchid care, following along uh, with a YouTube channel. And so here we go, trying to improve and repair my orchids. So we're starting with the first orchid and you could see with just some sterilised scissors, I'm just cutting off all the old roots. It has got a good root system, but there's some that are not very nice compared to the others. And so that's what I, my first job is to cut off all the old root systems. You can see I made a bit of an accident there. There seemed to be a very old root system, but actually it had some good roots at the bottom, but that got cut off. But I don't think it matters so much because there's so many roots, uh, some beautiful green roots. I didn't even know they existed. Uh, so it's doing OK. Then I just decided to cut off the bottom of some of the roots. I don't really know what I'm doing, but hopefully that won't matter. Cut off an old stem there. Just keep cutting them off. And then as you can see, where my left hand, right hand even is, those smaller leaves. I've actually got a little cakey, a baby orchid growing off the main orchid. And so my job now is to cut off that cakey and create a new plant. So I'm just deciding for myself where to cut to make sure that that cakey will also get some roots. some good roots going as long as it's got a few good roots we'll be okay those so what I'm going to do from what I've learned is just use some yogurt pots they have plastic pots put some cuts in them so that they drain and see whether these will be a good enough home just while we see whether I can grow these orchids obviously if they don't grow then it's saved me money I don't have to hang around and get more pots this just for now and see whether this will work. There we go. One little potted orchid. If it survives, I do need to put it in another pot, but I'll go and check my greenhouse out for that. But hopefully it will survive in there. This is all very much trial and error. These orchids are also beautiful though, get given. I think maybe if they got into a state of health, they could actually give some orchids to other people too. They could enjoy the orchids more. And perhaps I do want to take that label off, but maybe in, as it gets wet, it will come off better. Okay, Got the other little cakey. I love that name, cakey. I wonder what it actually means. Okay, so our next orchid, as you can see, has incredibly dry roots. I keep taking all of these sticks out. I've got sticks to grow the flowers against. Not really necessary at the moment without flowers. Okay, so that looks really, really healthy. You wouldn't have guessed that from the top, would you? So we're going to repot, get rid of all these old roots. Repot it. 
of the problems with this orchid. It turns out one of the problems is that the pot doesn't in fact have holes around the side. I don't think it's very good. So I've cut off all the old growth. All the old stuff, we don't need any of that. All of these old roots, don't need them. Horrible things. It's got some roots. Well, as long as it's got one root, really, that's what they say, then that will be absolutely fine. So let's get rid of all of this old stuff here as well. I'm going to cut that whole thing off because it's horrible. Just one more there. It doesn't look very nice. We'll get rid of that one. This is much, much healthier. Look at that. It's got these beautiful leaves and it's got these beautiful stems of root. They're just all oh, beautiful. So I'm going to just adapt this pot slightly because I think that's one of the issues, maybe. So we will put some cuts in the side of the pot. I apologise if you can see the washing machine in the background, but I have to do washing when I can. It's a busy place, this vicarage. There we go. I'm going to pop this one back up. Let me get the potty mix back up. Oh. to that one. Okay, number three. This is a very interesting one. Again, we've got stick that we don't need, so we'll move that out of the way. This one, oh gosh, it's still got this plastic packet on from when I got it. Let's sort that out. Get that off. We don't need that. That's probably inhibiting it to be able to breathe as well. Again, the pot needs holes in. It's very good for orchids to have pots and holes. Actually, there's a lot of water retention, which probably means the roots are very good. Oh, look, and it's even got a... it's about to flower. How lovely is that? So we're going to cut off this... if you can see that, I'm going to cut off this stick here because it's old. It's got two little leaves, but for some reason, if you know why that's happened, explain to me that it's as though it's grown again. So orchids flower after three leaves up from the previous one. So there's two little leaves there, and then it's flowering again, but we've got this massive stem between the three leaves, which doesn't look very good, but we'll, we'll give it a go. Okay, I need to just wash this pot out. So this, you can see, although it looks quite good there, doesn't have as many roots, and so we'll get rid of all these old roots that mean nothing to us. Again, hoping that it just retains a few good roots to go from. Old stick there. Get rid of that. Another old stick. Get rid of that. There we go. So, in fact, it doesn't have that many roots, but it does have some roots. So, potentially, it will be okay. So, I'm just going to go and wash this and wash the pot too. Just have holes in the bottom of the pot but not in the side. So again I'm just going to put some holes in the side because I believe for orchids they like holes in the side of their pots. It doesn't do that because they're quite hard to transport maybe if you've got holes in the side of the pot. Because they're potted in ceramic pots as well it doesn't make so much difference. Okay so let's just Put, I think that's 
a little cakey coming on, but I'm not going to do much about that because it's a little bit too small. So we'll leave it to get its growth off its mummy, as you would with a normal baby. So we'll keep the orchid in. another one potted flower about to bloom hopefully that new potting mix will give it a good go at growing it's okay so this one as you can see has re has quite a long ago flowered again we've got sticks in there that we don't in fact need we need to sort this out an old flower in there that shows how long ago they've been cared for okay so we're going to get this out again again see there's water sloshing around this. I'm going to get rid of that. Okay, so here we go. Again, some really healthy roots. They aren't as dead as they seem on top. You see all these shriveled roots and you think, oh gosh, that's awful. These are going to die. But no wonder they haven't died because actually they are very forgiving orchids are that you can I mean, not water them for a very long time. They still survive. Don't like the look of that one. Cut that off there. I don't know if you would like to cut boots again. Trial and error. Trial and error. It's a horrible old root. Stub my finger, that wasn't very clever. Slot and pop, mix in my eye, stabbing my finger. Get some of these off. These really old roots, and we've got a good root system going on here. Let me just trim that root system down as well. Let's trim some of these. I don't know. Will it work? Who knows? But we're going to try it. Okay, so now we need to just clean this pot out. I'm not using any soap or any other substance. I am just using water to rinse it out because I don't really think the candle will be very good for the orchids. Orchid. Hot. This one, as you can see, has got a beautiful flower growing on it, or about. One that's just gone from the other end. I don't know if you can see that. But actually, it doesn't look very healthy. So we will take this apart again. We don't need this. Where have my scissors gone? There they are. Okay, I'm just going to remove this stem it back to the end and removing the stick and this one well we will just keep that in place because it's holding the flower but it's oh it's very dry so you can see in this plant although it's got the flower so you could argue it was the healthiest it's not in fact the healthiest because it's root stems are not bulging and so we're going to cut back some of these root stems that look the most mouldy, the most old. Just cut them all off so that it's got a 
chance of reviving. Right, so there we go. This plant, as you can see, its leaves are very, very, it's not surviving very well at all. Probably the one that motivated me the most to sort it out. Okay, so let's again cut up the plant. Some new cotton mixture in for it. Hoping I will just move that stick up a little bit. Take some of this out while I'll put the roots in. And so there you have it, there are all the orchids in their new location on the windowsill in the dining room. So I thought I'd end with just a final little update. You can see that I haven't particularly carried up with the care of the orchids. Some of them are a little bit in need of a drink. So I've got this new by Baby Bio, there you go, some orchid food. And I'm just going to spray them all regularly now and keep them growing. You can see one of the purple orchids has grown since I filmed uh, this clip. So do enjoy taking care of your orchids and join me next week in the vicarage when we're going to repair the rabbit hutch. All these things to take place. Have a lovely blessed week. Bye.